Yes. Now to good health, if your inner cookie monster comes calling before bedtime, you're not alone. And Mine does. It does. Totally. And while bedtime snacking is common, we both do it, some foods can definitely cause more trouble than others. And Dr. <laughs> McGeorge shows us now. We like them all, but which food should we avoid? <laughs> well, Carmen and Devin, obviously it is not <laughs> uncommon to get the munchies before bed. And there are foods that increase the sleep hormone melatonin, like tart cherries and some nuts like walnuts, sunflower seeds and pecans that might actually help you fall asleep. But in general, snacking is not good for your waistline or your sleep. Sleep tight and don't let your snacking bite. Cereal, coffee, pizza, just a few types of food that can aggravate your sleep cycle. Particularly the sugary cereals uh, will spike your blood sugar. Catherine Krupa from Advice for Eating says sugary foods make your blood sugar rise and then drop so you don't sleep as well. Really almost anything sweet will interfere with sleep. And while it's not necessarily sweet, Coffee is an obvious problem. Six hours before is when you want to cut off your caffeine. The biggest misconception might be alcohol. Alcohol is one that many people will drink to actually get them to go to sleep. And it does make you tired initially, um, but it definitely messes with your sleep pattern. So you do not sleep as well and as deep. And it might be downright painful to sleep if you're prone to acid reflux and digging into high fat foods late at night. Pizza, for instance, is greasy, but then it also has the acidic tomato sauce and the high fat in the pizza. And then just general high fat meals, so burgers, really large meals that kind of thing will disrupt your digestive tract so just be uncomfortable at night and are more likely to cause acid reflux. For some people that also includes spicy foods and anything citrus. And here's some other food for thought. A couple other things that can interfere with sleep. Foods with dark chocolate because that contains caffeine and that could obviously keep you up. And also foods that contain water like watermelon, celery or just drinking too much liquid in general is obviously going to mean waking up more often for So just go to sleep, skip the snacks. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the best thing, but there are some snacks that can help you fall asleep, and so, you know, you just have to sort of be mindful of what you're eating. Coney dogs with fries. Yeah, right. I yeah, I appreciate the admonition against <laughs> pizza, but if there's pizza in the refrigerator, He's gonna that's what I'm having. Yeah, cold yeah. pizza might be the exception. Yeah, no, and I like, so no. I like that Coney with everything. <laughs> <laughs> All right, All right. Doc.